What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here again, and I know what you're probably wondering. Brandon, did you watch the game last night? Of course I did, this is the BFR for it. And you're probably also wondering, if you can see it a little bit right here, why am I wearing my Vegas Golden Knights jersey? Because Vegas had no say whatsoever in this game. Why I said it? This is that, that that game last night was the greatest thing that happened to Washington Capitals fans since they beat these guys in the Stanley Cup Final in 2018. We'll get right into it. So, Game 27 versus the Washington Capitals, 8 p.m. on December 13th. It was nationally televised on ESPN. Uh, there was no Backstrom, Wilson, or Kemper for Washington. Um, Strom and Gustafson returned to Chicago. Uh, well, Gustafson had been away before. Strom comes back for the first time. No one really cared. Um, Chelios announced the lineup in the locker room. He joked around saying he was never going to do that again. ESPN broadcast, I liked who was doing it. You had uh, Messier, Chelios... Callahan and Subban all part of the broadcast, along with two guys who uh, Steve Levy, who did the who was the announcer, and then another guy who was in studio. Tyler Johnson and Morazic both returned to the Hawks lineup. Um, there was a hype video before the game for Ovechkin, who sat at 797 goals. He does not anymore. Um, uh, yeah, the, the Hawks actually the Hawks lose the game seven to three. They go to seven sixteen and four. Tyler Johnson was in at Nassie, was out. Shots were 30 to 29 Washington. Hits were 25 to 16 Chicago. Faceoffs were 25 to 16 Chicago. Power play Chicago goes one for three. Washington goes one for one. And um, Morazic saves 23 out of 30 in his return. Uh, Lindgren saves 26 out of 29. And Charlie Lindgren, who was an AHL goalie with the Springfield Thunderbirds last year, he was in the final against the Wolves. He that he pretty good. Pretty good, and he's filled in great while Kemper was out, and um, he's now five and zero in his last five games, and um, so yeah. So early in the first, at nineteen thirty six, twenty four seconds in, it's a Washington goal from Alex Ovechkin, his eighteenth of the season from seven ninety eight from Carlson and Sherry, which makes it one nothing. And right away, I'm like, I, I said before the game that Ovechkin was getting a hat trick or four goals. I said he's either going to get three or four goals, and he's going to do it on national TV right here in Chicago just to make me happy. And believe me, I was so happy. I wanted it to happen so bad because it's going to be like when Rene scored on Chicago, uh, the, net, the Predators goaltender in 2020. I'm like, I remember where I was when that happened. Um, so that was so it was already 7.98. So I'm like, okay, good start. Abe Kubel, Abe Kubel had a hell of a game. He had a great game. Uh, he had a breakaway that was denied. Mantha hit the post. Uh, the Hawks were blocking a lot of shots. The Caps were in full control, and the Hawks were sloppy and couldn't clear. 13-41, it's a Chicago penalty to Lafferty, and that would be the only penalty they'd take all game and it'd be, if it would be uh, for tripping. And on that power play with five seconds to go at 11:46, it's a Washington power play goal from guess who? Alex Ovechkin, who scored the goal number 799. Uh, with his 19th of the season from uh, from Sherry, which makes it 2 nothing. Sherry's got a couple of assists. Uh, the Hawks then pressure late. Kane's denied. Um, Domi denied. Seth Jones was stopped, but with one minute to go, exactly. It's a Chicago turnaround goal. It's the returnee, the Tyler Johnson, his third of the season from McCabe and Kara, which makes it 2-1. And what happened there was Irwin kind of fell into uh, lingering, and that kind of got rid of any chance of he had of saving it. But we go to the second period. Where um, at 19:02, there's a Washington penalty to Kuznetsov for slashing the stick out of someone's hands. That would be killed, but that was the best power play I've seen all season. They dominated that entire power play. They threw everything on net. There were some good opportunities, but Lindgren was fantastic. Um, uh, there were chances in the first minute. Um, never mind, that's something else. Um, so now basically everything was going towards Ovechkin going into the going into the second. Every pass that what Capitals got whenever Ovechkin was on the ice, they were going to him. And so Strom comes up the ice along the right side, and um, then he uh, Ovechkin's coming down the left side, and everyone's looking at Ovechkin when Strom goes for the one time where Ovechkin can't get his stick on it, but he goes around the net, throws it right in front front to a wide open and wide open net because Morozik was out of position, and so was every Hawks player. It's Trevor Van Riemsdyk who gets his. Uh, First of this, a third of the season from Ovechkin and Strom, which makes it three three one. And um, so yeah, that was um, sorry about that. That that was weird. Um, so yeah, it makes it three one. Seth Jones then has a breakaway that's stopped as Linger and flops. Tyler Johnson one timers robbed, and at nine twenty three, it's a Washington penalty to Abe Kubel for goaltender interference. Uh, Mantha had a good defensive play. Hawks were throwing everything on net. Kane had a breakaway that was stopped. 
but at 8:22, it's a it's a Chicago power play rebound goal from Taze. It's for, it's for Jonathan Taze, his ninth of the season, and it went off Orla from Radish to make it 3-2. So we have a game here. And then Abe, Abe Kubel to Hathaway was a 2 on 0 denied, and then the rebound at 2:42, it's a Washington goal from Nick Dowd, his fifth of the season from Hathaway and Abe Kubel, which makes it 4-2. That was Abe Kubel's first point of the season. Didn't he get one in Toronto? He had two tonight, so pretty good night for him. Um. Uh, Orloff had a big hit on Dickinson. There was a small scrum. Kershev some, did some dirty dangles that ended up going wide. And then we go to the third, where Caps were looking for Ovechkin right off the drop of the period. Kane missed open net and as it was deflected. There's a scramble in front of the Hawks' net. Abe Kubela stopped. Um, the puck was bouncing. Guys were flying. And then at 13:26, it happens. It's a Washington scramble goal from Alex Ovechkin. All three of his goals were in the dirty areas. None were one-timers. They were all right in front of the net. He's trying to play sticky pokey in front of the net. And he d- he does it. it everything everything kind of just stops. It's uh his twentieth of the season, his eighteenth career twenty goal season. He has scored twenty goals, I believe, in every season he's played, um, or at least m- almost every season. But it's consecutive seasons, so yeah, every season he's played. Um, it's from Mantha and Kuznetsov, which makes it five two. And Kane was down as he was trying to stop Ovechkin. He went. Jack Johnson tried to it was on the ground. He tried to get up, and Kane went right over him. So Kane went flipped over into the boards. He was on his knees, but he was able to get up and keep playing the game. I was scared. I'm like, oh, God. Doug, did, please tell me we didn't just sacrifice this just for Kane to get hurt and not get a good set, uh, deal for him. But, yeah, Kane was fine, so that was that was good. And, um, yeah, the benches, em- the, the Washington bench empties, I'll go to go congratulate him. The Hawks fans, I give credit to the Hawks fans. They were cheering. They were throwing hats on the ice. Uh, everyone was getting into it, clapping, a round of applause. And there were a lot of cheers. You would think it was a you would not think it was an away game for Alex Ovechkin, as that was an incredible moment that I will remember. That's for sure. Is the the third player to ever score 800 goals, and is only now one behind Gordie Howe and 94 behind the great one Wayne Gretzky. So Ovechkin, he's definitely going to pass Howe this year. If that's for that question. Um, and then uh, after the after the uh, hats flood the ice and the fans are the fans are getting into it they 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 start chanting Ovi and he comes out salutes the crowd does his little wave and then on the loudspeaker Gene Honda who does the in 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 uh, in stadium uh, like announcing of the goals and penalties and that sort of thing he gave it like it was a Hawks goal he's like with his 20th of the season his 800th career goal Alex Ovechkin like the really intense ones when um when the Hawks score if you'll hear it over the loudspeaker. And um, so, yeah, it was a really just a great moment. Both teams enjoyed it. Kane went over to congratulate him. A bunch of the Hawks did at the end of the game as well. So, overall, this was a great um, thing for it to happen, and I was hoping I got to see it, and I'm just happy I called it with his hat-trick goal because that was also his hat-trick, 29th of his career. Um, so then uh, at 11:01, then, it's a bad goal from... it's a, T- Taze has a one-timer that's stopped, but... Um, at 11:01, it's a Washington goal from Anthony Matha, and it was a bad goal by Mirazik. Like, I don't know how he let that one in. It's just slapped. It just little wrister from the point, from the almost the point, the blue paint, uh, not the not the crease, but the um, the blue line. Uh, it's eighth of the season from Jensen, which makes it six two, and the game's basically over. Ovechkin was looking for more, so he was one away from tying how. Um, uh, there was a hit. Uh, I'm trying to read what that says. One moment. Sorry about that once again. So Ovechkin was looking for more. He's one away from tying how, as I said. Um, uh, the Caps are right now just everything is just going north. The Hawks are not getting any opportunities. The best they look was the second period. The first 10 minutes of the second period might have been the best sequence the Hawks have played all season, and they gave up a goal during that. So 6-11, then it's a Washington penalty to Carlson for high sticking, which would be killed. Carlson whipped on a breakaway coming out of the box. And then at 109, it's a Chicago own. Uh, it's a it's a rebound. It's a Domi gets it off his own rebound. It's a goal. Max Domi, tenth of the season, so tenth for Domi is having a good year from Mitchell and Kane to make it six three. And then with 39.5.9 seconds left, so about 40 seconds later, it's a Washington slap shot goal from Dmitry Orlov from the from the point. And Morozik, I, I I don't know what you're doing there either. Um, his first of the season from Hathaway and Abe Kubel once again seven, makes it seven three and it went off Blackwell as well. But still, that, that you could have saved that easily. I, I could have saved that probably, and that's saying something. The few, the few Hawks came to congratulate Ovechkin at the end of the game. Kane was one of them, and wow, what a game! 
the best night in Caps history up far since the night they beat these guys in Vegas. Um, yeah, I've got my Marsh or so. If I, if I have a hood back there, you can see Marsh or so. You can see the letters a little bit. Um, changes in the standings, not really any, just little minor back and forth movements. But that's all I have for you guys today. We have history made to yesterday. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.